Morning, Carlo. It's uh, been great to have a meeting this morning and uh, have you share um, a little bit about the vision of your library. So uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how you see shifting from where you're at now to more of a mobile-oriented learning space. Um, I'm looking forward to getting rid of the towers that are found on all the uh, desks here in the library. We've got these pods where monitors and, and towers are blocking students from seeing each other. And I'm looking forward to opening up that space so that students can interact a little more freely, but also move to where they can be more comfortable and allow that learning to take place wherever they see is the best location for learning as opposed to being fixed in a single location. Well, I think that's great that you're able to accommodate, uh, you know, collaborating both face-to-face -face and in flexible environments um, and with with or without technology here in the library. I think that's, that's fantastic. Um, how has your staff received um, your revision of, of how this might go forward? They've been very receptive. Uh, the library is traditionally used by a, a lot of departments. They bring their students down here to do research and to produce uh, various reports. What I've been pushing more towards is multimedia and having students actually create audio and video. Uh, as well as the traditional types of essays. So once I started showing staff how to do that and how the library can be used to produce those products, more and more staff are coming down here and are actually looking forward to seeing more and more of that mobile technology available to their students. Well, that's fantastic. Certainly uh, in terms of the perspective of expressing your thinking in today's multimedia culture, that's much more than traditional writing. There's so many options and great that you can move towards a plan where that's all accommodated here in your facility. Um, which maybe leads to a good question just around how do you see the, the role of the teacher librarian shifting? I think the role of the library or the librarian has shifted from archiver to facilitator. Um, we are here to be the person who is the most skilled in information technology and in the old days, that technology was the book. Now, it's all the various devices that we can bring into the library. I'm looking forward to all the various mobile devices so that we can use the right device for the right type of learning. Oh, sounds very exciting. I certainly look forward to uh, working with you and seeing how this all unfolds. Uh, just as a quick wrap-up, uh, do you have any upcoming opportunities where you're sharing um, your plans sort of beyond the board? Yes. Uh, Waterloo Region District School Board has been very supportive of me uh, to go out to various conferences to, to present. Uh, I have two coming up uh, at the BIT15 conference. I will be presenting on doing research in the library and taking advantage of Google Apps for Education, and a second one on the Library Learning Commons and the building of knowledge building centers, again using Google Apps for Education. Uh, in the new year, I'll be at the Ontario uh, Library Association doing a presentation uh, again on flipping the library and making instructional how-to videos uh, for various things that students often need instruction on in the library. Well that sounds uh, very exciting so thank you for your your leadership and taking time to share this morning and I look forward to seeing how your library plans unfold. Well, thank you, thank you for coming in.